Thanks for joining us today. Before you head out, let's talk about how to enjoy the river while maintaining your safety and the safety of others. We will discuss proper gear needed, how to enter and exit the river, how to paddle correctly, and how to minimize your risk of tipping. Keep in mind that at any time you are in the water, situations can get very serious very quickly, so please be sure to follow instructions. There are several items you should bring to help you have an enjoyable experience. The first step to an enjoyable outing is to wear a personal flotation device, also known as a PFD. Virginia State Parks require that PFDs be worn by anyone renting boating equipment from the park. When operating a personal watercraft, a Coast Guard approved PFD is required in the boat and must be worn at all times. To provide the best protection, your PFD must be snug and secure. It is everyone's responsibility to wear a PFD, regardless of swimming skill level, because things can change quickly in the water. Children should always wear a PFD. A PFD must be buckled and zipped to be correctly fitted so it doesn't rise above your head when in the water. To ensure your PFD is fitted correctly, pull on the shoulders of the PFD. If it rises, it needs to be tightened, or perhaps you may need another size. For more information about fitting your PFD, look inside for the type, weight, and intended use. Proper footwear should be worn to prevent injuries. Closed-toed shoes are required, and water or river shoes are highly recommended. Wear appropriate clothing that dries quickly and always be prepared to swim. There are several items you should bring to help you have an enjoyable experience. Shoes to protect your feet, sunblock, even on cloudy days, sunglasses with the strap to keep them from getting lost, and a whistle to signal for help in the event of an emergency. Keeping hydrated is very important. Bring drinks in non-breakable containers, bring snacks or a lunch in a waterproof container. Our livery sells items that you may have forgotten. Remember, everything is at risk of getting wet or lost. Bring waterproof containers or a dry bag to store personal gear. And don't forget that all trash should be taken out with you. Pack in, pack out. Getting in and out of a boat can be an unsettling experience. Our staff can share pointers in addition to those shared in this video. Bring the boat parallel to the shore. Keep three points of contact with the boat, such as two hands and a foot, or both feet and your seat. Move slowly and keep your weight low. This is important for both canoes and kayaks. When two people get in a tandem canoe, usually the heavier person gets in the back or stern first, while the front or bow paddler holds the boat steady. The stern paddler then steadies the boat for the bow paddler. The order is reversed for exiting the boat. Be sure not to overload your boat. To paddle correctly, you must know how to grip the paddle. While using a canoe paddle with a T-grip, one hand must be on top and the other on the shaft. While using a kayak paddle, your hands must be shoulder width apart and in an overhand grip, equal distances from the blades. These general paddle strokes will work for a canoe or a kayak user. A forward paddle on your right will take you left. A forward paddle on your left will take you right. A reverse stroke on your right will take you right. And then a reverse stroke on your left will take you left. The stern or rear paddler of a canoe or any kayak user can use your paddle as a rudder to steer the vessel. Using your paddle as a rudder on the right will take you right. Using your paddle as a rudder on the left will take you left. Try to minimize movement once you are on board. If you must move, keep your weight low and balanced over the center line of the boat. Remember, three points of contact at all times. Your shoulders should stay within the sides of the boat to keep it from tipping over. If you lean over the edge of the boat, the boat can slip out from under you. Another way to minimize your risk of tipping is to avoid obstacles. If you can't avoid an obstacle, then knowing what to do is important. 
If you are approaching low-hanging branches, never grab onto them. Simply push low-hanging branches out of the way or duck under them, while being careful to minimize your movement. If you hit a rock or submerged log sideways, lean downstream. This will enable the water to pass under the boat while minimizing the risk of capsizing. If you do capsize, don't panic. Taking a few simple steps can help you get back in your boat and finish your trip. If you are close to the shore in calm water, swim your boat to shore and dump out any water. Once your boat is empty, you can get back on your way. When on the river in moving water, stay upstream of your boat. Hang on to your boat and paddle if possible. Roll face up and keep your body flat with your legs pointed downstream. Use your feet to push off rocks and any other obstacle. When you get to calmer water, you can backstroke to shore. An exception to floating on your back is if you are approaching a downed tree or a log. These are called strainers. If you find yourself approaching a strainer, abandon your gear and swim aggressively away. River bottoms can be especially dangerous. Do not stand up in current. You could step into a crevice or crack between rocks or get tangled in roots, tree branches, or other sunken debris. Moving water has tremendous force and can prevent you from working yourself free or even push you over and hold you underwater. If you do capsize, don't stand up. Swim on your back with your feet pointing downstream until you've reached shore or until the water is knee deep or less and you are out of the faster current. Abrupt weather changes can create many risks on the water. High water, wind, and storms. Make sure to check the weather forecast for the park. Be aware that there are many changes to the river after storms. High water levels, strong currents, and possibly more debris. At James River State Park, please move right when you see the orange kayak on river right and prepare to exit in a quarter mile. Exit river right when you see the blue kayak at Dixon Landing. If you need to exit the river for any reason, please exit river right. This includes medical emergencies, damaged equipment, and storms. A rental agreement is required before using park equipment. The signer must provide a photo ID and provide an active phone number. The person signing the rental agreement is responsible for all equipment and users of that equipment. Please return all rental equipment to the designated area and time frame. Leave no trace is a must on the water and in our parks. If you bring it in, please take it out. And remember, it's never safe to paddle while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thank you for listening. Be safe out there.